you know, the um, American diet in the last 30 or 35 years, when the diabetes and obesity have been increasing so much, the polyunsaturated fats are the biggest increase in our diet, not sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, if you look at the uh, the nature of the pancreas, um, the there's a constant renewal of the beta cells that produce insulin in the pancreas. Okay. So uh, the idea that once you're diabetic, you're doomed to always be diabetic because you don't have the cells in the pancreas, uh, that went out when people discovered the idea of stem cells. Uh, in uh, one of my newsletters on sugar and diabetes, I mentioned the studies that showed that uh, glucose stimulates renewal of the beta cells in the pancreas. <laughs> so that's sugar for helping a diabetic's pancreas uh, regenerate. To, to renew itself. Yeah. But if, uh, since the polyunsaturated fats and, and the prostaglandins that they form mm-hmm. are toxic to the beta cells, right. if you don't have enough glucose, uh, you'll just keep killing any beta cell that appears even though you do have the the stem cells, they'll uh, be converted to beta cells just to get killed by the PUFA. Right. And it happens that the stem cell, uh, the flow uh, from the, uh, the the new cell to the mature insulin cell, it happens that one of the early stages uh, in this streaming is from the glucagon-producing alpha cells in the pancreas. The alpha cells turn into beta cells as they mature, and the glucagon-producing alpha cell raises the blood sugar. And so if you have a lot of the alpha cells um, in proportion to the beta cells, Mm -hmm. that will create apparent diabetes because the glucagon causes the breakdown of, right. of protein tissue uh, and uh, increases the, the glucose, which is helpful potentially mm-hmm. if it's only a, a temporary right. measure. So it's like a stress reaction. The body is yeah. trying to emergency save the, save the lack of sugar in a diabetic's pancreas by increasing the amount of glucagon to raise the blood sugar. Yeah, and... Then, when you, if you have a lot of sugar supplied, um, you don't need the uh, glucagon-producing cells, so they move on under the influence of sugar. <laughs> the, the flow is increased, and you produce the the beta cells, um, and uh, the sugar should be holding down the stress and preventing the free fatty acids, which would form the prostaglandins that would kill the beta cells. So this is why you mentioned that study done in England that showed in uh, the early treatment of diabetes, they actually gave the diabetics sugar because they noticed they were losing so much sugar in their urine and they actually improved. Something like 12 ounces a day, they said, of the highest quality white sugar. Yeah, and they started picking up weight. Because it lowered the stress and allowed their beta cells to fully develop. Within just a few days, they stopped producing so much sugar in their urine as they were eating these huge amounts of sugar. And uh, as they stopped destroying their own tissues, uh, they began gaining weight instead of losing weight. Yeah. 